If you took out student loans prior to June 30th of 2010, then you might have federal family education loans through the Department of Education. Now, 11 million borrowers still owe $246 billion through these types of loans. So if you have a federal family education loan and you're wondering what you can do, there are three things we are going to cover in this video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Justine with the College Investor Investing and Personal Finance for Millennials. So if you have federal family education loans, there are three things that you can do. One, you can just do nothing. Two, you can consolidate your loans. Or three, you can refinance your loans. So let's go over each of these options. First, if you just do nothing, then you can continue to pay on those federal family education loans and hopefully you've already been doing so and just keep going until your student loan debt is completely paid off. The second thing that you can do is you can consolidate your federal family education loans into a federal direct consolidation loan. Now, if you end up doing this option and consolidating into that direct consolidation loan, you are eligible for that payment and interest waiver that is going on until September 30th of 2021. So due to the pandemic, student loans had actually been in administrative forbearance, meaning that you don't have to make any payments and no interest accrues during this time period, which has helped a lot of student loan borrowers. So if you end up switching it over, you are eligible for that waiver. You also might be eligible for the $10,000 student loan forgiveness proposal by President Biden. Now this has been in the works and talked about a lot, but this is only just a proposal. Until executive order or this has been approved by Congress, this is just something that they're still talking about. However, if it ends up coming through and everything starts to align, then you could see $10,000 of student loan debt forgiven. When you consolidate into a federal direct consolidation loan, you're also eligible to get on an income-driven repayment plan. Now keep in mind, if you end up extending your repayment terms, your monthly payment may be lower, but you'll pay more interest in the long run. So this could end up costing you a lot more rather than just staying on your standard repayment plan. You're also eligible for the public service loan forgiveness as long as you meet those requirements and typically that means you have to make 120 qualifying payments and also work for a eligible employer and you'll want to check out those listings. We actually have a whole article on public service loan forgiveness that you'll want to check out. Now, there's a few caveats when you do a direct consolidation loan. So if you've been on an income repayment plan with your federal family education loans, when you consolidate, it resets the payment clock. So if you were working towards some sort of forgiveness goal with another repayment plan, you're going to lose that progress when you consolidate. You may also lose lender provided discounts such as prompt payment discounts when you do the consolidation. Now keep in mind almost half of these federal family education loans are actually held by outside lenders, not by the Department of Education. All right, your last option is to refinance your federal family education loans into a private loan. Now the biggest reason why you would want to do this is if you have a really high interest rate with your fa federal family education loan. So that means you found a lower interest rate with a private loan and you can refinance that to save money on interest. But when you refinance your student loans, you are going to lose out on those federal student loan benefits such as deferment, forbearance, death and disability discharges, loan forgiveness, and any income-driven repayment plans. So again, the biggest reason is you wanna save money on that interest. 
Now keep in mind, whether you refinance or do a consolidated loan through the Federal Student Loan Program, that you are going to basically put all of those loans that you've taken out over the course of your college years and put it into one giant loan. So you probably took out multiple loans throughout your time in college. I know I did when I took out $35,000 in student loan debt that I had multiple loans inside of my uh, student loan account. So what's motivating about this, and you can use this as a way to pay off your student loan debt, is if you have those individual student loans, you can actually go in and start paying on them individually. Now, this is a really great way to stay motivated with your student loan debt progress, and you can see how you can pay off those loans individually. So you may want to just keep them as individual loans as a way to stay motivated on your debt-free progress. So if you consolidate or refinance, there's no turning back. It is a done deal and you'll have to figure out a plan to pay it off as quickly as possible moving forward. So make sure you do your research, whether you decide to stay in the federal lane and consolidate or go into the private lane and refinance your student loans. Regardless of what you choose, make the, the decision that's best for you. Now, to help you make that decision, we have a ton of free resources available to you if you wanna check out all of your options to pay off your student loan debt. Be sure to visit us at thecollegeinvestor.com.